The Chicago White Sox lock up another fantastic player and secure a strong future for this team. I love what they did in the offseason, and I love the moves that they're making, and I think it's going to pay off. Chicago White Sox looking good in 2020. Let's talk about this team. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today, the White Sox have inked Yoan Moncada to an extension. It's a five-year extension worth $70 million with another year as a club option for $25 million or a $5 million buyout. So Yoan Moncada is locked up, and I think this is a big move because Moncada showed amazing improvement last season. After his first full year in 2018, he was okay, but last year he looked great, and he might even be better, and I think he will be in 2020. This guy is only 24 years of age, and in 2018, his first full year, he hit 235 with 17 bombs, and he struck out 200. 17 times this looks like okay this is a kid who strikes out a lot he does have some pop but you know not great but then last year 2019 he showed amazing improvement from 217 strikeouts he cut that down to 154 he went from striking out almost a half of his at bats to one for every three Point three, so a big improvement there, and also his on-base percentage. Not surprisingly, jumps from 315 to 367. His OPS skyrocketed from 714 to 915. The guy got MVP votes last year. He was so good. Ended up with 25 bombs, 315 batting average, 79 RBI. He was going to be a free agent pretty soon, and the White Sox said, No, 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 no. You're not going nowhere. You're staying right here. In Chicago, on the south side, signed this paper. He signed it. White Sox lock up another player. Remember, they just locked up Luis Robert, who hadn't even had a big league at bat, but they knew the kid was for real. The guy is obviously legit. And by the way, he's tearing it up in spring training. He's already hit a home run. He's hitting well over 300. He's stolen three bases. Says, Luis Robert is legit and he is tearing it up at spring training and he is going to tear it up in the regular season. I can almost guarantee it. The guy is for real. Look for Luis Robert, but now Luis Moncada is also locked up. And this is what the White Sox are doing. They did it for Eloy Jimenez last year. They locked him up. Tim Anderson a couple years ago locked him up. They're doing what they can. And Aaron Bummer, he got a five-year, $16 million extension. The White Sox know they finally got some talent. And they're going to hang on to it for as long as they can so that they have every opportunity to win a World Series or two in the next four or five years. And I think 2020 is attempt number one. Obviously, in the last couple of years, the White Sox weren't ready to do that. I think they are now. They're ready to go for it. If it doesn't work out this year, they're still going to have these guys who could be even better in 2021 and so on. And they're going to keep on trying because they have the base now. They have what it takes to go out there and put a winning team on the field, I believe. You just got to add some parts in the offseason. They did that. They added a ton of parts. They added veterans who can hit. They added guys like Yasmani Grandal. They did whatever they could. They're bringing in pitchers. And by the way, Dallas Keuchel, former Cy Young Award winner, is going to be pitching for the White Sox. I think it was a great signing. Doesn't mean he's going to pitch just like he did when he won the Cy Young a few years ago, but he's a solid pitcher, and he's getting added to a rotation that has been much improved as we head into 2020. Keuchel, by the way, made his first start in spring training, and I think he looked great. He threw four innings. That's a pretty good workload for your first start, and he only gave up one run. He looked pretty good out there. He struck out a batter, zero walks, so his control was on point, and, I mean, he looked fine. For your first spring training outing, you're going to pitch four innings, walk nobody? That is not bad. It gives up only one run, so he looked pretty good there against the Padres. He threw a total of 50 pitches in his first spring training outing, 34 for strikes. He's got to be feeling good about that, and the White Sox and fans got to be feeling good about that. A very promising first start in spring training for Dallas Keuchel, and by the way, he gets to keep his beard even. The White Sox, who usually make all their players shave like the Yankees, said, you know what, bro? You pitch well, we win games, you keep beard. What a deal. So now Dallas Keuchel has the most possible motivation you can have to go pitch well. He don't want to shave because no one's seen him without his beard. And he does not want to do that. Trust me because he's going to look weird. So you know Keuchel is going to bring his A game in 2020. So what do you guys think about the White Sox locking up Yoan Moncada? I think it is an absolutely fantastic move for their future. Even though some of these extensions, might you might end up regretting them. 
one or two of them, you might, but you got to do what you got to do. When you have a chance to extend them, you extend them for that price. And if this guy turns out to be really good, it might be end up being a bargain, especially for someone like Luis Robert. That has got to be the extension of the year. I'm sure and it could backfire. I'm not saying it's 100% that Luis Robert's going to go out there and be this awesome player. But all the signs are there. The guy looks amazing. So you have to go ahead and you have the opportunity to extend him. You extend him. You say, you're our guy out there. He's going to be comfortable. He knows he's a big leaguer and he knows he belongs. He knows he's won it. Same for Moncada. Same for Anderson. Same for Bummer. Same for everyone that they're giving these extensions to and saying, hey, we believe in you. We believe in this team and we're going to go out there and we're going to win. I'm super high on the White Sox this year. Love their offseason. Haven't put out my predictions yet. Don't know if I'm going to have them as a wild card or falling just short or winning the division. I'm still thinking about it, but I'm just telling you, I'm really high on this team. I think they're going to have a big year. This is a team that lost 100 games in 2018. They showed great improvement last year, even though they still had a losing record. They moved from fourth place to third place, and I think this year they're ready to bump it up to at least second place, maybe even to compete for a division title. So White Sox fans should be excited. I love you all offseason. Love this team that you've put together. A lot of excitement on the south side. We're getting ready for some baseball. I'll have my predictions really soon. And I'm going to have a full-on White Sox preview video coming up where I'm going to be have some giveaways and probably going to give away some bobbleheads or possibly some autographed cards. But I'm going to have some giveaways for that video. So stay tuned for the White Sox official 2020 preview coming right here on the Hum Baby Base ball channel hit that subscribe button and please hit the thumbs up if you haven't already because it really does help the video out helps get this video out to more people so they can find the hum baby baseball channel and bring more people to this great game of baseball and especially here on youtube we do some baseball talk all the time got more previews coming out don't miss it we're talking baseball all the time right here on the hum baby baseball channel so hit subscribe hit the thumbs up and i'll talk to you later see ya when the giants come to town